Hey Farm Vloggers, I want to thank you for the continuous support, suggestions and phone calls. Today vlog we look at mechanized agriculture and how is it that we're going to actually improve this system by becoming more farm efficient. One of the problems that we have is the adaptability or the uptake of farmers looking at machinery as a solution to some of our problems on the farm that are one, reduce your labor costs and two, increase farm efficiency. For example, let us look at the silage making procedure being done at the trade with station and we decided to apply technology. It has done wonderful jobs as in the use of a forage harvest to harvest the grass on these massive fields, use of a silo packer to pack these grass into 50 pound bags made the job so much more easier and there are even better machinery to let this procedure be a little bit more efficient. So thanks to the Deer Development Board who brought in this ID Agro Silo Packer has made our lives much easier in the field. I remember I did some vlog before you saw persons using their hands and use our feet to pack these bags or to pack these plastic drums. This makes our life easier. The Heineken Harvester is found at Hypro. We sell this brand and it's an amazing opportunity. You can literally cut an acre field in less than an hour. Using this method actually reduces the whole labor intensified silage making procedure where we have one farm operator using the tractor and then we have two personnels operating this silo packer machine. And they could probably use one person who actually understands the machine but as a training procedure we definitely want to get all hands on board to teach the staff. So guys, the future is now. And if we don't plan to adapt mechanized agriculture using digital technology to improve our farming systems, we'll still remain 50 years behind. And I can tell you that we are actually behind in how that we approach agriculture as a business and how we approach agriculture with the science and technologies that will drive a productive farm operation. What I'm really proud of is the actual uptake of some farmers to see that this method by adding machinery to their farm can improve their farm productivity. So here again, a farmer invested in the Brazilian made JF silo packer machine. That's a bit upgrade from the one that their board have. This one actually can do around 32 bags in less than half an hour, which is amazing. And this machine, again, I think is probably one of the best in the island right now that harvests the grass and uses a hydraulic press to press this grass into these bags that are cage and it's ideal. However, this vlog will now focus on milk processing. I believe the small ruminant dairy sector will be taking off quite shortly. And I believe it's a great opportunity for us farmers and additional income to our farms. So what we did, we did the case, the Contra Agriculture Science Education, where we actually look at a mini processing plant that actually processes the milk, homogenize the milk, and allow you to bottle the milk in a very simple machine. So all our investors out there who's planning to enter the small ruminant sector, or who's planning to enter even the, the dairy sector for cattle, these are very small machines that you could invest in that could improve your operation, improve your value added lines instead of selling milk to just the major processor. You could bottle a few and, you know, sell it into your community and make additional money. And for a gold farmers, I believe this is the way we can actually start the our own process lines. Huh? So we want to introduce uh, processing unit. Check around in the US and we can find a small processing unit. So we have to go all the way back to the history of the panel on one ground. We are one ground tomorrow. So we um, we go from um, Tessa, this company in Israel, and they can feel what you want to size. So they can feel any size. You just tell them what size you want, and they can scale the size. So we give them the size of the one And um, they send an answer a couple of things. Like they wanted to know right the type of electricity. So we actually design the size of the space and tell them the size of the river we have, tell them the number of animals that we have, and how much we really want to do this. So they will cater it for your operation. So what we have here is a semi automated processing unit. It comprises of three units. We have a, what we call a batch of um, um, pasteurizer. Which will be is both as a pasteurizer and fermentation bag. So if you want to do your yogurt, this is also suitable for doing your yogurt for fermentation. And at the same time it's used for your, your processing. Um, so we have we have a 200 um, stone per liter capacity. So you can go 
toward too much for the day if you want to do so. And then most likely, you have always been that one for the day, which is too much for the day. We also have a homogenizer, and this homogenizer will take care of this 200 capacity in half an hour. So it is basically a batch, so it is not, it is going continuous throughout the process for one hour, and then during that period, it will process 500 and 200 liters of mercury. Now we process it at a, a 20 megapascal pressure. So we have to set this at 20 megapascal during the processing. And basically what it is, is basically pumping the milk to a very tiny, tiny um, part holes. So as it passes through, it will break up the fat top, um, molecules and to homogenize everything. So we have a nice smooth milk at the end of the day. Now in addition to that, we have a semi-automated bottle filling unit. This bottle filling unit is basically connected to a bottle filling unit. This bottle filling unit is basically connected to a, a compressor outside where it produces high pressure of um, air, air pressure. And the air pressure will pump the milk through this container and we will set it based on what we want. Right now, this table we have set it for 1 liter, 2 liter, 4 liter. At this point, we can also be graduated um, from smaller containers. So, what you do is that you set the container here, one press of the button, and it will deposit the quantity that is set for inside the bottle. So, so it, it fill your bottle, then you take out your bottle, and you cap your bottle, and you start it. So, what we do, the process basically is pasteurizer, homogenizer, and then the filling. Here. Now, this um, what I'm comparing will work with the homogenizer and the filling. Here. So, you can always direct the milk in some open in this valve to where you want the milk to go, and to take the milk here. So, if you want to fill your bottles from this container, you will send all the milk to this. This has an automatic lock off valve. So, as soon as this container is full, then this valve will close. As soon as the container is empty, the valve will, the valve will open so that it allows milk to come back into this container. So, it will always be going until the tank here is completed. Now, all this system here is controlled by this control center. So, at the control center, you have your main controller switch here, which will bring power into the system unit here. You have your heater. Once you turn your heater on, you will set it based on what temperature. It is now set at 90 degrees Celsius. So this is telling you the temperature that it is now, and this is telling you that it's set temperature. So we process our milk at 90 degrees Celsius right now, because this is the set temperature here. So it will take both the water and the milk. And this is telling you the water temperature, this is giving you the milk temperature. So inside this um, unit here, this is where you have the water. And this water here is going to heat up and that's also going to bring the temperature of the milk. While that is going on, you have your mixer that will set your mixer. And throughout the entire process, your mixer will be working. So you'll continue to mix your milk as the process goes on. So you'll continue mixing. Now, even if you're doing yogurt, then you also want to have your mixer. Now, if at the end of the day you do your position of your milk and you want to convert it to flavored milk, you also put your ingredients in this tank. So, if you do yogurt, then you also want to have your mixer. Now, if at the end of the day you do your position of your milk and you want to convert it to flavored milk, you also put your ingredients in this tank. So, you mix it. So, you want to do chocolate milk or egg milk. You put your ingredients in this container here and you continue to mix it as it goes on and you do the same process to one So you homogenize your milk for first, you pasteurize your milk and you have your ingredients here to convert it to flavor milk and then you do your thing. Okay. So you, um, once it has been heat, you feel the temperature of your stomach, stand as you like now, from the slightly, and then you are heating, you are mixing, and these two, two um, 
switch here will contain your homogenizer and your pump. There's no liquid inside there now, so I can just make a quick switch to tell you that that is taken and you write down on the homogenizer. It can start, so once the homogenizer is making noise, means that it is working. So the homogenizer is basically the design with these pistons here. And once it works, these pistons continue to pump. So they will pump the milk as it passes through here. So once the milk is coming there, it passes through here, these pistons continue. So this is the motor and the engine that runs it. And pump it all the way through here and push it back here so it separates the engine. Okay? So what we have is a small unit comprised of the three units that work together to give us a complete for the identity. Okay, our bottles, we have um, different size bottles that we do, we just have this here. Show you. We have different size bottle. So how this work? We should get what is here. Design here. Design here. Press this. This is off now. You can control from the outside. And this is pull your bottle to one liter. You remove your bottle. And it, it stops stop automatically. Huh? It stops automatically. Yes. Once you one press. Mm -hmm. One liter. One liter. One liter. Okay. okay. So what about the smaller bottles? The smaller bottles, then you can go on it here and you do the modification to the size of the one liter. Okay. It is now designed for one liter. So I'm going to pull this bottle. One press, one liter. So I'm going to pull this bottle. Okay. Uh, this can also adjust. This can adjust with it. And this can also go up and down also. The smaller bottle, this can, can adjust by pulling this. Yeah. So you can go for the smaller one. So you put the smaller one here and all the way down for the other one. So you can press it for your back base of your one and go down to the other Right? So you have just two press for the larger one. Okay? So you can use that one to the size of your one here. So once you press here, this is the, the, the valve. It's an automatic lap up valve here. So one press. You open the valve, you release one liter, automatically it goes. Mm -hmm. So that's basically how we see the work. And in addition to that, we have this extra fan. And while the process is going on, you know, we'll generate a lot of heat inside here. So the fan will continue.